You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, never here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. So the last place we left off, the dragon guy, God, I forget his name. Haven't been, haven't had much time to spend with him. He uh, played a little practical joke on Grandpa, on Grand, Granddad here, pretended he had a heart attack, and. Well, that kind of uh, made Granddad kind of uh, run outside, go on a whole thing about his childhood and how he misses his dad and such. And a lot of stuff is a lot of stuff is happening very quickly in this. Two lines get Matthew. That's his, okay, Matthew. I remember his name now. Okay. Anyway, guys, so let's jump in and see where else this crazy train goes. Because apparently, because we've got dragons involved now, dragons and and sex dust and werewolves and. This is weird. I, lo I am enjoying it, though. Anyway, alarm chain, you're up. Let's go. <clears throat> Don't you have work tomorrow? Nope. Do you mind if I sleep here, Pops? Hmm, I do have some rooms available, but I'm gonna have to charge you for the night. Come on, Dad, it's just one night. I'll be gone in the morning. But that's bad business, Matt. I mean, Jack. Hmm? But I'm your son-in-law. Well, are you married to Lionheart? <laughs> no. Jack scratches his head. Hmm. Oh. 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 Yeah, they're all nice. Oh, we got a proposal. But I will soon. Huh? Bill rubs rubs his temples. Thanks for the dinner, Dad, but we're going to head out now. <laughs> Leo's like, eh. All right. <clears throat> Try to remember what voice I did for Matthew. God, I have too many voices I'm juggling in my head. <clears throat> I just do something deep for now. I have to get going also. I have to wake up early in the morning. Thanks for coming, Matthew. Mm-hmm. We really enjoy the company, especially the guest being such a charming fella. <laughs> I'll get going now. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. No problem. He gives a slight bow and heads out. Why he didn't fly out? <laughs> Jack chugged another glass. Dad, where's your beer dispenser? It's at the back. I'm gonna start charging you for that, too. What? Grandpa shrugs. I I don't want to burn my week's allowance. He lies down on the chair. Are you two ready to go? Yep. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having us. He embraces and nuzzles the older lion. You're always welcome. You boys call me when you need anything, all right? Of course, Gramps. Will do. We give Grandpa a tight hug. Jack gives us a stare as we head out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, he was just making sure you're all right. What a day. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> I have nothing to do tomorrow. Maybe we can go do something fun. Want to have a barbecue by the beach? Huh, that does sound fun. Hmm. Hmm. Low? Am I normal? No. <laughs> what? Am I normal? The lion stared in awe. He inspects the sulking wolf's face and tail. You look pretty normal to me. No, I... Forget it. He slides himself to the front seat and closes the door. What's wrong with him? Uh, I shrugged and sat in the back. We drove off silently while I watched the other cars drive by my window. <clears throat> I stared at the horizon, at the really, really far edge of the ocean that seemed to stretch forever. Wondering if there really is a curve, if and if that the Earth is actually flat. Come on, don't be a flat Earther. Come on now. <laughs> it must be nice to fly like a dragon. Yeah, just ask the fucking dragon if the Earth is flat. <laughs> Dragons can fly? I saw Matthew fly outside going after your grandpa. What? Really? As crazy as I sound, it's true. It really is quite an experience meeting a dragon. Who knows, maybe we'll be lucky to meet a shark man in our lifetime. Oh, yeah, that'd be pretty crazy. Good luck trying to swim 100 feet underwater. Right, you can't swim. Hmm. <laughs> that cow's lit up. That's a nice touch. That cow has variations and the same art pieces. I look at the wolf and I catch him steal a glance at me. <laughs> you seem fine. A bit. I just don't let it get to me. Good for you, then. He faces the window. Hmm. Hey, Lo? Hmm? Lo. What? 
Can I sleep in your room for the night? What? I said, can I sleep? Yes, I heard you, but why? I just feel like it. Besides, it's been a while since you and I had a pajama party. I do remember it being ages ago. I think pajamas I wore back then are still around my closet somewhere. Pajama night it is. Oh, poor Ludus. He can't be part of pajama night. I'll go wash up and get ready for bed. He grabs the keys and rushes to open the gate. It seems like you'll be sleeping alone tonight. I'm not invited? If he hasn't asked you, maybe he wants you to maybe he wants it to be just the two of us. I'll take it personally, it's just how he is sometimes, really. Also, it has been some time since we truly bonded. This could be a chance for me to understand him better. Right, that does sound like a good idea. So, uh it's the first time I'll be sleeping alone. The lion chuckles. I hope you don't get night terrors. He pats my head. <laughs> a chill runs down my spine. I walk in and catch the wolf walking in his underwear. Hey! Damn, son! He, wa he walked He walked towards me, his fur damp from a short wash. Hmm. I'm gonna sleep with Leo for a while. That okay? You're not wearing pajamas! That's, those aren't pajamas! Alright, you feeling okay now, though? Sort of. It's hard to explain. Hmm? Hmm. I'll go get my pajamas. There you go. <laughs> oh, and... He kisses my cheek. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> cute. So cute. Oh, good God. Where? <laughs> no one's wearing pajamas at this supposed pajama party. Where's your attire? It's a sad to disappoint it, but I don't think I have it anymore. Huh. I'll sleep naked instead. Leo, I'm ready. Oh, boy. I parked the car inside and locked the gates. You can go to bed now if you want. Yeah, I'd like that. I move to give him a hug. Your hugs are always contagious. Even I'm starting to need having to have a constant need for one. Too much is never enough. It never is. Have fun on your little sleepover. I'll try. Good night. Good night. Your uh, stepson is going to grab your pee-pee. Hmm. I wander around the house. Looking around, I had looked at pictures I, that lined on shelves. Some of it were us. Some were of Leo and Philio holding a bundle of fish. And one picture of a white tiger. I stared. Hmm. Oh dear. Hello there, young man. He sat on the bed and grinned. I did a couple of stretches before I crawled on the bed and sat beside him. That is a nice fucking bed. Oh, that is a lovely room, too. Where are your pajamas? I don't have them anymore. Sorry. Boo! You'll make up, to, you'll make up for this on the next pajama party. Heh. <laughs> So, what made you want to sleep here? Like I said, I just felt like it. Alright. Why? Were you thinking of something else? Hmm. Not really. I shared his gray fur. The same gray fur that I've been carrying with my own two hands many years ago. I can't believe he's already grown this big at such an age. It would have been great if I could see the both of them growing up together again. How come your room is a lot nicer than mine? I thought you already liked your room. Well, yeah, my room is great, but... It's just a lot prettier in here. I'm kind of jealous. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I like this music. Makes me feel like I'm at a coffee shop. How's Ludus? Uh, as a roommate. Hmm? He's fine. He gets a bit too clingy on some nights and turns me as a pillow. I don't really mind. It's just I can't move too well. Do you wanna? Do you want a separate bed? Hmm. <laughs> eh. I'll think about it. You like guys, right? It you met his boyfriend today! <laughs> yes, why? It's just so strange to me how when people have sex they suck the- Oh, okay. La oh, <laughs> like when you suck- you could suck on someone's nose and it would still be the same thing. But what people will always go for is the, you know. Hmm. When you put it that way, it does sound bizarre. <laughs> Do you think that if everyone has dicks or if everyone had vages or both? Do you think the world would be a better place? <laughs> Philia, what is this fucking pothead conversation we're having right now? Good lord, man. There's not enough, nearly enough drugs for this kind of conversation. It would surely have an impact, but I don't think it would stop crime or bring world peace. Yes, everyone has a dick and a vagina. It brings world peace. World peace. 
Hmm. You have such a wild imagination. I ruffled his hair. Though, if I were to be given a chance to change one thing, it would change my workout habits for, from decades ago. I'm gaining so much weight. You, would, you, you wouldn't change how the world works? The world works fine. We're still figuring things out, so we're bound to make some blunders. Huh. Okay. How do... Hmm? How do you change, though? Change? Change what? Your underwear? No, yourself! Which part of you do you want to change? You're already great as you are. Look at you. You're big, tall, and handsome. <laughs> I already know that. Hmm. I guess my real question is, how do you cope with change? Something like, haven't you experienced that before? You change all the time. Your taste in food, your personality, your own self. Th this one's kind of different. It's something that involves a bigger part of me. Is it... is it your penis? <laughs> no! Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> he kind of set himself up for that one. You're scared of change? He nods. But you do have the will to pursue, don't you? Mm, yeah. Hmm. I sat up. When I was around your age, I was often scared of the thought of being something I despised. And I often asked myself that if I were to continue on what I was doing, would I stagnate, or would I become a better version of myself? And so I did something that only brave people can do. What did you do? I ate, I ate food. <laughs> I'm serious. I ate lots of it. Then I, looked, then I took a leap of faith, and I started to try to change, bit by bit. My routine was to be my usual self most of the time, then go and do more change. Like the things I eat, the way I'd style my hair, how I work out, slowly and surely. But there was that throbbing fear of losing yourself, losing what you know. Because, of course, what we know makes up who we are, right? Uh, I guess? Though, looking at who I am now, I can say for sure that I haven't lost any part of myself. Some habits of mine vanished, sure, but I think it's good I did it because I definitely don't want to be punching people's faces. You still haven't lost your knife skills, have you? Hmm. No. It will still come in handy when I need it. I laughed. All you really need to do is never lose sight of what is important. And when you do, you'll have all the strength you need to conquer anything. Huh. He yawns and lies down. I pulled up the blanket for the two of us. Hmm. Mind if I do this? He wraps an arm around my belly. Not at all. But you aren't gonna, like, watch a movie or anything? It's, it's a pajama party, you know? Not really a party if everyone is sleeping! He closes his eyes. <laughs> hey. What do you think my parents look like? Uh, like wolves, I think? Hmm. Not really sure. Heh. <laughs> I guess so, too. Pretty cool if my parents were actually lions, huh? Isn't he already one? Are you always going to be, though? Be what? A lion? Of course I'll always be your parent. I don't have much of a choice, do I? I'm just kidding. I wish Ludus had, thing, had things better for him, that he didn't have to lose so much. Hmm... By the way, did you really kiss earlier? Uh, 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 good night. Hey. Mm. He buries his face under my neck and starts squeezing me. Oof. <laughs> it's fine, you know. His grip loosens. Cats, what are you doing? Good night, you big baby. <laughs> hmm. You know, I've never really felt like this, but... I'm grateful to be in your place. I'll make sure to finish what you started. I placed the picture back on the shelf. Hmm. I lie down, flat and face down. So spacious. I huddled the pillows. I wonder if he'll turn feral again. Hmm. Eh, not my problem tonight. I closed my eyes and reminisced of the events that happened today. Ha! Grandpa sure is hot. You think so? Hmm? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh well, hmm? Well, we were in the pool and... It's okay. I think I get the gist of what happened. I buried my face on a pillow. Why are you here? I came to check on you, but it seems that I may have disturbed your daydreaming. Anyway, sweet dreams. Ah! He closes the door. Time to pass out. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh what's happening? 
It's so stuffy in here. Oh no. It's too hot. Yeah, he's probably got a wolf laying on him. I... I can't breathe! Up my eyes and tried to get up, only to be held down by a large, hairy mass. Pulling myself up, I managed to free my head and get fresh air. What on earth? I looked down to my side. I never had seen such mo such monstrosity with large fangs and a beastly face. I had its hot, steamy breath on my face. Uh oh, he transformed in the night. I let my hands feel the thing. It's hard when pressed underneath its soft fur. It's a, a person. Wasn't Filio sleeping with me? Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Wait a minute. Filio? I shook his body. Oh dear. Filio! Ah! Filio, wake up! W what is it? He opened his eyes. Is it time to get up? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're a funny guy, Lo. He closed his eyes again. Filio! What? You're... You're a... I'm a what? A wizard? <laughs> he looked at me and his eyes widened. Quickly sitting up, he felt his body in his face. He was unusually large, and so was his member that hung between his legs. It would seem that his pajamas ripped apart after getting so big. Oh my god! Yep, gonna have to blur that. Leo! Leo, help! He began to tremble. Uh, uh... Calm down, first. Deep breaths. He closed his mouth and began to breathe slowly. Can you sit down properly? He nods. I got up and sat behind him to rub his massive back. Pause here for a moment. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to put that on the uh, save screen, because I would have to blur that too. He rocked back and forth endlessly. Just wait a second, I'll go call someone. That's a penis. Yep, that is a dick. After some time and more rubbing, his breathing slowed down and he was able to relax. He picked up instantly after dialing his number. Leo, good morning. Up early to greet me, eh? I need help right now. Philio has turned into a, a massive hulking wolf. Whoa, really? Are you alright? Did he attack you? No, but please come. Come with, he come with help ASAP. On it. Lo? Hmm? Can you get me something to drink? All right. Hmm. <sighs> and I was sure it wouldn't happen again. I brought some milk. I give him the bottle and he drinks it all. Whoop. Thank you. He lies down on his side. Hmm. I sat beside him and leaned on the wall, caressing his massive arm that could kill me in one fell swoop. Oh dear. He closed his eyes. Just close your eyes, you'll be alright. Oh dear. That took a turn. Are oh, the boys asleep? Yes, Philly does a good. So he places his lips onto mine. He tastes like he tastes a little like mint and chocolate. Oh boy. Despite the no, despite the timing not being at its best and his way of getting me a little too brash, I didn't hold back. Instead I pulled him closer, putting an arm around his waist. Don't you guys have more pressing matters to contend with? Our drooling mouths finally parted, and he grins while whipping his dripping chin. Damn! You really think I'm the type that doesn't fight back? Guess I was wrong this whole time. He places a paw on my bulge and squeezes it. That's enough horseplay early in the morning. You need to see Filio first. Shit, right, I almost forgot. I thought you called me over so we could, you know... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that later. Here he is. He's falling asleep, so I think it's all right. Jack nearly stumbles back and chokes on his spit as he sees the massive wolf. Holy Titan's titties. <laughs> you weren't kidding. Did he attack you or go berserk or anything? No, he was like this when I woke up. He freaked out when he realized it too. Damn, the poor boy. So, did you bring something with you? Medicine of any kind? No, but I could inform authorities and the rehab guys about this. Okay, okay. But, we shouldn't be talking about that here. Let's have some coffee. Hmm. Coffee sounds good. Milk? Half the mug. Also a fan, I see. 
You and Philly will make good pals. You think so? I poured a fresh hot brew on two mugs. Sugar? <clears throat> Sugar? A pair of hands slide around my waist. Two teaspoons. I like it sweet. He rests his head on my shoulder. You're a bit too sweet for someone I dated a month ago. Well, we should have at least some interaction. And it's not like you don't like it. I huffed. Not if someone might wake up and see us. They should get used to it. Besides, isn't it normal for couples? Straight couples do it all the time, too. We're not a couple yet. You two are dating! I hand him his mug. He pauses and looks at me. He gives me a peck on the lips before grabbing it. Ah, unbelievable. <laughs> Alright. So, about Filio's treatment. You won't be seeing him again when they get him. Not for a long time. I sipped on the hot mug. What? The people affected by the drug aren't necessarily cured. None of them go out of go out got out of rehab yet. We'll save it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I oof. <laughs> got a little bit of dick in that episode. I am on the sense of that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I also want to give a shout out. Thank you to the to those who have left the super tip. It, it it's awesome. Thank you so much for the extra support. It really goes a long way towards me being able to focus on this more than I already am. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!